Shalom, shalom, shalom. Grace and peace, grace and peace, grace and peace, family. Um, I'm just jumping on really quick, family, and I just want to reiterate truth according to his word. I just want to reiterate truth, which is the teaching of the gospel according to his word, right? Because Christ said that I'm the way, I'm truth, and I'm life. And no man can come unto the Father except by through me. No man can receive eternal life but except by through me. You have to believe it in me. You have to believe it that I died for your sin. You have to believe it that I resurrected for your justification. And if you're willing to believe in your heart and confess with thy mouth, thou shalt be saved. That is the teaching of the gospel. That is the word of God. That is what we put our hope in. That is what we put our trust in. The teaching of the gospel, which is the death burial, and it's the resurrection of Christ. Naomi, grace and peace. How you doing? Shalom. Right. We have to understand the word of God. We have to family, because if you don't, you will find yourself being tossed to and from by everyone. The doctrine. you will find yourself getting lost in the sauce. You will find yourself uh, grasping or, or grabbing hold of the theology of man. And if the and if the word uh, and if what they're saying does not align up with the word, once again, you'll find yourself going astray. So you have to understand the teaching of the gospel, which is you believing in the death burial and in the resurrection of Christ, right? Because there's no righteousness in the law, right? You can keep all the Shabbat Shalom and all the feast days and all the tassels and all the fringes and uh, you can never go out the door on Saturday. But if you don't believe it in Christ, if you don't believe that he died for your sin, if you don't believe that he resurrected, thou shalt not be saved. I'm telling you, mm, you won't. So I just want to encourage you to really understand the fundamental, really understand the principle of the gospel, which is you believe in that he died for your sins. You believe in that he rose again and you understand it that by his stripes, you've been healed. Absalom, grace and peace. Hallelujah. 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 Right. And we have to begin to drink from the new wine. We have brothers and sisters want to mix the old wine with the new wine. You can't do that. We have to drink the new wine. And the new wine only. You don't want to miss the wine. Why would you want to miss the wine? You will only bring harm towards your way. We have to drink from the new wine. We have brothers, we have sisters want to add the law with grace. You can't do that. Talking about your sins are forgiven through Christ, but yet we have to keep a feast day. You're missing the wine together. You should not do that. We need to keep the law of Moses and, 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 and believe it in the grace of Christ. You can't do that. You cannot miss the wine together. You cannot miss the two covenant together because Christ said the law came through Moses. Understand that. But grace and truth came through Christ. Grace and peace. Hallelujah. We can't miss the two together, family. We have to keep it separate. We're not under the old, but we're under the new. We're not under the law. We're under grace. We're not. You can't miss the two together. You want to be under the under, under the order of, of Aaron and under the order of, of Melchizedek, who is Christ. You want to be under the law and under grace. You want to be in the old covenant and in the new covenant. You can't do that. I'm Christ said, he that put his hand to the plow and look back is not fit for the kingdom of God. Point blank, period. Right here drinking Hennessy and Remy. You're going to hurt yourself. Right here drinking vodka and gin. You're going to kill your liver. Round right here trying to miss the, the law with grace. You're going to destroy yourself. This is what Christ said. We under new order. Melchizedek. A tribe which Moses never spoken of. From the tribe of Judah. You have to get that revelation family. We're not under the first covenant. We're not in the time of Moses. We're not under the law. We're under grace. But for by grace art thou saved through faith. It's not a word so that no one will be able to boast. We have to drink the new wine. It's better. It's built on better promises. It's better. It's more healthier. Grace and peace. 
Grace and peace, brother Peter. Yo, Ram, you already know. Grace and peace. We have to drink from the new wine bottles, family. We cannot continue to mix the two together. The law. It's not a faith. Brothers want to be under the law and under grace. They want to be under Moses and under Jesus Christ. They want to be in the old covenant and the new covenant. You're missing the wine together. And Christ said you will destroy yourself. New wine belonging to new wine bottles. So that it's able to be preserved, family. Please understand what I'm saying. That stuff we did in the old is in the days of old. We don't have to atone. We don't have to use animal to atone for the sin of, 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 of mankind. You don't have to run to Jerusalem. We're not under the order of Aaron. You don't need to look for a Levitical priest. You don't have to take your tithe or or or, or your, your 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 first fruit, your your offering to to the son of Aaron. We're not. You don't have to walk around the hall of Jericho seven times. You don't have to stone one another to death. You don't. All you have to do is believe in Christ and he will redeem you. He had reconciled all of mankind back onto himself through faith. That's the new wine that thou should be drinking from today. So I will be reading from the book of Mark. The book of Mark chapter 2 verses 21 and 22. The book of Mark chapter 2 verses 21 and 22. I'm just going to focus on these two verses and I pray that this brings forth edification. I pray that it reached just one person. That's what's wrong with these teachers now. They want to reach the whole world just because they go live. It's all about reaching that one. And allow that one to be equipped with the word of God. And he go out there and reach that one. We have to reach that one. Christ said he is willing to leave 99 sheep and go and search for that one. But you would rather argue back and forth about a name. I don't have time for that. I'm trying to reach that one individual to equip him and to make him understand or allow him to understand the truth of the gospel so that he could go out there and reach that one. Reach one, teach one. Or teach one, reach one. That's what it's all about. The book of Mark, chapter 2, verse 21 and 22. The book of Mark, chapter 2, verses 21 and 22. Please reshare the video, family. Please reshare the video. Please reshare the video. We have brothers and sisters who don't know this yet, so they need to understand this. We have brothers and sisters who still stuck under that Pharisee doctrine. They need to come from under that theology, right? So they, they, they need to understand the truth. They still stuck in Judaism, the Hebrew movement. They need to come from under that theology and learn the truth of the gospel, which is the teaching of the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ. You have to believe that he died for your sin, and you have to believe that he resurrected for your justification if thou want to be saved. The book of Mark. And that is drinking the new wine right there. And it tastes so much better than the old. The book of Mark, chapter 2, verses 21 to 22. The book of Mark, chapter 2, verses 21 to 22. And it reads. It say, no man also soweth a piece of new cloth on an old garment. Else the new piece that filled up the old will take it away. No man saw a new piece of garment on the old. You, 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 you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't mix fabric. You learned that in the Torah. Like you don't mix, you don't mix your garment together, right? That was teaching you Christ right there. You don't mix, you don't mix. You have to keep everything separate, family. Half of your shirt is 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 is, is, is new, and the other half of your shirt is old and wrinkled and, and, and dingy. You know, you, you need a fresh shirt. <laughs> it's a no man, no man also saw a piece of new cloth on an old garment. Else the new piece that filled it up, take away from the old and the tear is made worse. You don't do that, family. You know that. You should understand that by now. When the last time you went and got a shirt out of the mall, half of your shirt was brand new and the other half was 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 dingy and wrinkled and, 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 and stinking and dirty and filthy. You want a brand new shirt. Well, the new covenant is a brand new teaching. It's brand new. 
It has nothing to do with the old. Nothing. The father said that I will make a new covenant with them. Not like the covenant that I made with their forefather when I brought them out of Egypt. This is a brand new covenant. And he said, I will forgive their sins and I will remember their iniquity no more. This is brand new. It ain't mixed. You want to be under the law and under grace. You want to be saved by grace through faith and keep the law. No, you can't do that. <laughs> you want to keep some Torah and believe in the Christ. You can't do that. Grace and peace, sis. Grace and peace. You want to be under the old covenant and the new covenant. You can't do that. You want to go to Jerusalem and believe in Christ. You can't do that. You're missing the two wine together. You will destroy yourself and everyone you preach that garbage to. New wine belonging to new wine bottles so that it's able to be preserved. The gospel have to be preserved. Why do you wish to pervert the gospel of Christ, you knucklehead? Your mouth had to be stopped. Your mouth had to be shut up. Because you're not preaching truth according to his word. You're missing the two wine and you will destroy yourself. Imagine drinking Hennessy and Remy together. You will destroy yourself. Keep the Remy bottle. Keep the Remy liquor in the Remy bottle. Keep the Hennessy liquor in the Hennessy bottle. Don't try to miss the two because they both cognac. Man, you'll destroy your liver. <laughs> it said, no man also sew a piece of new cloth on an old garment. Else the new piece that filled it up take away from the old and the tore it made worse. And no man put the new wine into old wine bottle. You just don't do it, family. New wine belonging to new wine bottles, period. The new covenant is not, it, it, it should not be mixed with the old covenant, period. The old covenant, the old covenant. We broke the old covenant. So a new covenant came in. To, to establish or to fulfill that which was broken in the old covenant. Now the new covenant is built and is based on better promises. You don't have to run to Jerusalem no more. The body is the 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 body is is, is the believer that with the Holy Spirit dwelling. You don't have to run to the son of Aaron no more. Because because we under the order of Melchizedek, which is Christ. We're not under the law. Christ is the end of the law to those who believe it unto righteousness. We're under grace. You are saved by grace. The grace of God is what teaches you to turn from ungodliness. It's a, and no man put new wine into old wine bottles. No man. No man put new wine into old wine bottles. This is what you're doing. You're doing the opposite. You put new wine into old wine bottles. But Christ said no man should do that. No man should put new wine into old wine bottles. But this is what you Pharisee. This is what you scribe. This is what you unlearned and you untaught hypocrites are doing. And I'm not trying to call you names, but if the shoe fit, wear it. Please wear it well. Matter of fact, I want you to uh, come from out of those shoes and put on the mind of Christ, to be honest with you. But some of you is not trying to listen to what I'm saying, so that's why I have to go a little hard on you. You know, you're doing the opposite of what Christ said. He said, no man put new wine into old wine bottles. But you are, you is adamant about putting old wine with new wine and that should not be so. Grace and peace. Grace and peace, uh, Brother Williams. You want to be under the law and under grace. You want to keep a feast day and wear tassels and fringes and talk about Christ. You can't do that. You're missing the two covenant. Christ said, I am the end of the law to those who believe it unto righteousness. I am the end. I have fulfilled the law and the prophet. He said, thank not that I came to destroy the law and the prophet. I did not come to destroy. I came to fulfill it. And he said, it is finished. I did it. I did it. But you still want to put old wine into new wine bottles. You still, you, you want to mix the Hennessy and Remy together. You want to put a little vodka into it, a little Ciroc, a little gin. You're going to hurt yourself, man, if you try to drink a full cup of that. Just like you're hurting yourself now when you're trying to be under the law and under grace. You're trying to run to Jerusalem. You're trying to walk around the walls of Jericho. You're trying to uh, 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 part the Red Sea like you, Moses. You magnify Moses and Jesus on the same level. Now understand that Jesus is the manifestation of God. You can't do that, family. Keep that separate, man. We're not under the law. We're under grace. Let's make that transition. Let's just walk by faith. 
Christ said, this is the works that thou must do. You have to believe it on him who was sent. That is the works of the Father. Please reshare the video, family. Please reshare the video. That is the works of the Father. Brothers and sisters, think, the thing they putting in work because they're on the street corner teaching others that they're Jews. That ain't the work of the Father. You ain't putting in no work. You're wasting your time. You think you're putting in work because you're on the corner talking about thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not steal. Esau, the white man, got, got Caucasian people bowing down to your feet. That ain't the works of the Father. That is not the works of the Father. The works of the Father for you to believe it on him who was son. Christ said that. This is the works that thou must do. Believe it on him who was son. Believe it in me. That is the works of the Father when you profess the gospel of Christ. Folks think they putting in work because they on the street corner with a Bible in their hand. Pouring out people flaws. Pouring out people shortcoming. Women can't wear pants. Brother, you got a bald head on. Why your beard is cut? Don't you know that you are a Jew? Don't you know that we're slaves and we came over into America uh, 1619 and the letter J is only 400 years old? You think you're doing the works of the Father? You're not. That is not the gospel. That is strange teachings. What you're saying cannot bring deliverance to no one. No one. No one, family. Absolutely. Christ said, this is, the com this is my commandment. This is my commandment. He said, if you love me, keep my commandment, which is different from Moses, or which had fulfilled Moses. He said, love your neighbor, you love yourself. <laughs> love. Treat others how you would want to be treated. This is the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. Beautiful question, brother. He said, I have, never, I have not given you no new commandment, but that which you heard from the beginning, that you shall love one another. This is my commandment, him. Yeah. Walk in love, which fulfills the law. Love the Father with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength, my brother and my sister. And love your neighbor, you love yourself. He said, on these two commandments, hang all of the law and all of the prophets. It's my commandment, this said Christ. But we have brothers who will say, you know what? What about when the young fella asks Christ, um, what should I do to enter life, right? Don't lie, don't steal, don't. Brother, that could be fulfilled in love. Because if you did lie, you won't lie. I mean, if you did love, you won't lie. If you did love, you won't steal. If you did love, you won't commit adultery. If you did love, you won't disrespect your parents. So what he's telling you is that treat others how you will want to be treated. And that is the whole of the law and the prophet. That is Christ's commandment. Which is love. <laughs> which is the image of the father. Which is the fulfillment of the law. Love. It's, and no man put new wine into old wine bottles. Else the new wine busts the bottles and the wine is spilled. And the bottles is destroyed. But the new wine must be put into new wine bottles, family. Please reshut the video, family. Please reshut the video. The new wine belongs to new wine bottle. You cannot miss the two coming together. He that put his hand to the plow and looked back is not fit for the kingdom of God. You can't be a part of the new and looking back in the old. You can't put your eyes on Christ and look back at Moses. You can't be under grace and under the law. You can't do it. You can't be about no Torah that profit us nothing and be under grace. You can't do it. You can't have tassels and fringes on for the sake of justification, but believe in Christ for the sake of justification. You can't do it. He that put his hope in the law has now fallen from grace and you have alienated yourself to Christ. Christ is the master of the Sabbath. Rest in him. Christ is your tassel and your friends that will remind you of all things. Now believe it in him and allow him to lead and guide you into all truth. New wine belonging to new wine bottle. Let's begin to drink the new wine, family. I don't want the old wine. I don't want it. Because he that despises the old wine died on account of two or three witnesses. 
He that despised the law of Moses died on account of two or three witnesses. I don't want the old wine. I don't want to run to Jerusalem. I don't want to kill animals to atone for my shortcomings. I don't want to say sin because it said it never could take away the sin of the world. I want to drink the new wine. I want you to drink the new wine. I want to be served the new wine. I want to serve you the new wine when you come to my house. And that is the gospel. Believe in Christ. Believe that he died for your sin. Believe that he resurrected for your justification. Believe and thou shalt be saved. That is the new wine and that's the drink that I want you to drink. Enjoy. That's about it, family. I pray that you uh, got something from it, family. I pray the law came through Moses, but grace and truth came through Christ, period. We cannot continue to put the old with the new, which is what a lot of brothers and a lot of sisters are doing. They tell you about Christ, right? But then they say, well, you got to study your nationality and understand that you're a Jew or a Israelite. You got to learn the letter J. You got to keep a feast day and a new moon and the high holy days and some tassels, some fringes. You got to go to Jerusalem. You got to visit the homeland. You know, they, they add an extra stipulation to the, to the gospel. New wine belongs to new wine bottles. The teaching of the new wine is you believing in Christ. And you will then receive his spirit. And once you have his spirit, his spirit will lead and guide you into all truth. Believe that he died for your sin. Believe that he resurrected for your justification. And understand that by his stripes, you and I have been healed. That's the new wine. Now let's drink up. Uh, that's about it, family. I'm going to continue on with my day. I pray that this message was edifying. I pray that you receive something from it. And if you already know this, I just pray that it keep you rooted and steadfast in the teaching of the gospel. And that's what it's all about. Becoming steadfast, becoming rooted. In the gospel, it's all about faith. We have a relationship with the Father through faith. We don't have a relationship with the Father through the law. Because the law profits you nothing. And the letter of the law will kill it. But it's the spirit that gives life. Our relationship with the Father through faith. Everything we do is through faith. Because we understand that faith establish the law. Period. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please reshare the video. I'm not going to keep you too much longer, family. Y'all, please reshare the video. And uh, continue to walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Continue to walk by faith and not by sight. Continue. It's all about the new wine. It's all about drinking from the new wine. The new wine tastes much, much better. Why? Because it will build on better promises. And by his stripes, we've been healed. Grace and peace. Shalom.